What's good, family? So, mash the like button, subscribe, and lick off the bell. <laughs> it's all kicking off on social media right now, and I can't lie to you. Your man, the YB's nips are tingling right now. This right here is building up to be exactly what I want to see. And I'm quite surprised out of these two individuals. Well, especially Crawford. But anyway, let me give you man a drop. So, Errol Spence has been posting a few memes out the other day. He was posting the t-shirt meme where he opens all the doors up. And basically, he's slain all of the cats. He's slain Kel Brook. He's slain Sean Porter. He's slain your Dennis Bumgus etc etc also he reposted a meme of all of them man's eyes being bust he busts your Dennis Bumgus his eye he busts Kel Brook's eye and even Danny Garcia's eye was touched so the point is your man Errol Spence has stayed on the memes anyway two twos Errol Spence reposted this meme he out shopping shopping for some new belts he like that listen end of the day Errol Spence he out shopping for some new shiny belts and he likes that one that your man's. I'm not sure what colour it is, but whatever colour it is, he liked that one. He liked the one, WBO one, the one Crawford got right now. He's shopping for a WBO strap right now. And guess what? T Bird, he got that one. Anyway, while shopping, Errol Spence posted a message line him up, I'ma knock him down. Anyway, Crawford come back and replied and said, I love this energy. Keep it up though, and I'm gonna smash you, then I'm coming for your cheerleader, oh, Twin Charlo. That's if he wins next. Wow! <laughs> wow! Keep woofing, and I'm gonna smash you, and then I'm gonna go check them Charlo cheeks. I like this. Where's this? I don't get it. Where has this Crawford been all these times? Part of the reason, even though to be fair, Crawford's made millions of dollars, but part of the reason he hasn't transcended, like a Canelo or Mayweather or whatever, even Spence as well, they haven't had the mouthpiece down pat. And even this, to be honest, it's only on social media. I'd like to see Crawford give it this one in an interview. That's when, that's the real value. Twitter and social media doesn't have the same effect. If, imagine if Crawford, yeah, got on a video and said, listen, Errol, you keep woofing about the belt. You're going to get it, 100%. I'm going to, you best watch out talking about eyes. I'm going to crack your eye, yeah? You big pull-out artist pulling out against Manny Pacquiao. I'm coming for that eye of yours. I'm going to push it right in. You're going to be super-duper blind again. No doubt about it, yeah? For et cetera, et cetera. Charlo, Bumlo. Yeah, Jamel Bumlo, or whichever one it is, I always get confused, they're all bums anyway. Jamel, listen, listen Jamel Bumlo, yeah? You got washed by Castaño anyway. You Listen, listen Bumlo, you got Castaño problems, talking about etc, etc. That's what Crawford should be doing right now, 100%. Crawford need to hire the YB and get his trash talking game down pat, yeah? I'd put all these bummy looking dudes on notice, that's what we do know. But as, either way, I'm not going to, listen... I'm not going to be an idealist here. The fact of the matter is, people, this is a great start. This fight, anyway, has my nips tingling. But imagine going into it with pure smoke as well. So I'm glad this really is the first time I've seen Crawford half woofing. Please continue this. This is what the fight needs. The fight game needs this right now. Yeah, the fight game's been down bad. You've got Javonta Tuck Tuck Davis fighting the bum slayer. The stay fighting bums. No good. You got Ryan TikTok Garcia fighting bums. Yeah, we need the mouth talk with the great fights. That's what's been missing in boxing. These days, it's one or the other. I.e., you get a good fight, but they can't talk. Or you get a bum fight like Ryan TikTok Garcia, and he ain't fighting no one. You understand? So, this right here is exactly what I want to see. Now, I'm intrigued as of yet. Errol Spence hasn't replied, but this energy, man, look, I love this energy, keep it up, I'm gonna smash you, then I'm coming for your cheerleader boyfriend, Twin Bumlo. <laughs> oh, coming for Bumlo, yeah, and that's the thing, if, if 
he wins. Because we don't know. Yeah, he, he already, listen, Castagno already half taxed that ass. Had you all backed up looking. Had you all backed up against the rope looking ass. Yeah, and Charlie Bumlow came out in, in an interview, and the interviewer said to him, listen, Bumlow, you was backed up, and he went mad. Oh, man, you know, I wasn't backed up, and I, I fought from being backed up, and, you know, my name's Jamel Bumlow, and well, giving it all that. Yeah, it's a shame you weren't giving it that kind of energy when Castagno was all up in your face. That's what you should have been doing. And that's what the bottom line is. Let's see who takes the first back step. Because you was backstepping. Look like Michael Jackson. You love backstepping against Castagno. That's what you was doing. And I love this. I love this from Crawford. That's what I do love. He not only airing out Spence. But he looking. He on that. Terence Crawford right now is on that Canelo. He not only looking to air out the Dons in this division. He looking to go up and take the best ones out there too. Now to be fair to Crawford. He has always kind of taking out the best ones but 140 was dead let's be real now 140 wasn't like 168 was for canelo yeah 160 isn't or yeah 140 isn't like what 160 or 168 or 175 is i'd say 147 154 are what do you know what i'm saying 147 and 154 is like 168 or 175 in terms of the quality in terms of the pound for pound quality all the people Crawford beat at 140 they're not the level of Billy Joe or Plant Pot or them ones I don't believe anyway in my opinion but Er Errol Spence is literally he's arguably even better pound for pound than the ones that Canelo's beat maybe or yeah he's at least as good as Triple G pound for pound or maybe there's an argument there. But either way, you know what I'm saying? It's certainly one of them ones. So the fact that Crawford, he wants this. And he wants to then go up and take on Bumlow. That's that That's that right energy. Because who was it the other day? I think it was even Spence. Spence was saying, oh man, you know, that's my brother. I'm not going to go up. Or something like that. He's basically saying he don't want to fight his brother. Listen, like Mike Tyson said, if he's your brother, he want to put food in your mouth. That's what you want. That's what you should be wanting to do, and that's why, like in a way, I do actually do believe. I've watched back the Errol Spence versus your Dennis Bumgus fight, and whilst I was initially impressed, on reflection, having watched it again, I actually, I'm intending to put money behind Crawford on that. Why? Well, yes, Errol Spence is good at getting eye injuries, but apart from that, he. he does Errol Spence have much power? He was punching all night. And yeah, he got the eye injury. But think about it. Take away the eye injury, yeah? Errol Spence doesn't get knockdowns, does he? He doesn't have that kind of power. He doesn't knock people down. He doesn't hurt people. He just kind of punches. And yeah, he tends to get eye injuries. But um, I mean, that to some extent's lucky, isn't it? From what I understand, it's quite lucky to get an eye injury. Even though I guess you can say he's been pretty consistent. But still. It is lucky. You can't guarantee you're going to get an eye injury. And the point is people. If Errol Spence hadn't have got the eye injury. Against Ugas. That would have gone the distance. Ugas wasn't going anywhere. He wasn't getting hurt hurt was he. To the point where you can say. Well he scored a few knockdowns. Ugas remained on his feet the whole night. Same as Danny Garcia. Same as Mikey Garcia. Do you know what I'm saying? So. And in fact, them fights show you what I mean. Look at Danny Garcia fight. Look at the Mikey Garcia fight. Them fights show you what happens against Errol Spence when you don't have an eye injury. He can't stop you. Even if you ain't doing nothing. Mikey Garcia was half the size of Errol Spence and was scared to punch. So basically, he was a moving small heavy bag and Errol Spence couldn't stop him. Yeah? Do you understand? Now... Why is that relevant to the Crawford fight? Well, Crawford, if anyone is not going to get an eye injury, in my opinion, it's Crawford. Why? His defense is too slick. His defense is too tight. Yeah. Ugas got an eye injury because he stands there, bends over and doesn't look what's happening. Just gets clocked on his eye. Crawford's, I've watched Crawford's defense. And in my last video against Porter, I actually said, as far as defenses go, in terms of being able to tuck up, his defense is as good as it comes. He gets his elbows right in. His 
gloves stuck together and very few shots get through. Go back and watch them flurries that Porter had against Crawford. They all bounced off the guard. Now, to be fair to short Errol Spence, he does have some armour-piercing rounds in his arsenal. But still, if anyone's not going to get an eye injury, in my opinion, it's going to be Crawford. So we know at that point, in my opinion, Errol Spence ain't going to stop Crawford. So going forward off that, if you ain't going to stop Crawford, you have to then say Errol Spence is going to be able to outbox Crawford. Crawford ain't no Ugas who's going to stand there with stiff feet. He's going to be moving his feet, giving angles. It's just more tricky. And actually, again, I think it's more tricky. And I also think for the first time, Errol Spence is going to be fighting someone who wants to get, who wants to fight back. A lot of these guys, I hate to say it, Kell Brook, Ugas, they ain't really want to fight back. I don't know, maybe it's the case that Crawford hasn't been hit hard enough yet. We're going to find out. But I, I, I find it hard to believe. The things I've seen, for example, when Crawford was in there with Porter, yeah? Crawford's trainer told him, listen, you're not looking too good. And guess what? Crawford came out fighting. Yeah? He won it like that. So, the things that Errol Spence was doing to U Ugas, I just don't see it going like that against Crawford. So I do back him to win the fight. But it'll be a great fight. And if he keeps talking like this, he's only going to talk himself into a better position, in my opinion. If I was... Crawford's doing all the right things right now. Be the big dog. There's no point being a side man. There's no point being on the sides and just being happy to turn up. Get in Errol Spence's head or talk the shit. Talk about how he in love with his bro his, you know what I mean? Talk about how he in love with his with his funny style dude Bumlow, Jamel Bumlow. You know what I mean? Talk that talk. That's what I'll be doing, hundred percent. Stay on this one. Stay on this Don's neck, hundred percent. Yeah? No doubt about it.